So if you're watching this video, chances are you've already seen my video journals from my uh, 2013 trip to Zion. So you know how the story ends, but here's the thing. I don't. I haven't seen the film yet. So just like last year, I'm going to record my uh, film reveal, and this is the first time I look at my film from that trip. So I have my film right here from the lab. Um, I have a, a light box here, which I will put the film on, so you'll see it as I see it and kind of see the reaction. This is kind of fun to do last year, so let's see what the results are. And I should also note that it's been um, almost 24 hours since I picked up my film. So it has been sitting here, and it has not been looked at. It's been kind of like a whole uh, Christmas Day kind of thing. You know how that is. So let's uh, break into the seal here. It's only been three days since I got back from my trip. So, still very fresh. Okay, so, <clears throat> first photo here. Um, this is the oak tree with the uh, mossy rock vertical shot, so I can only show so much of it at a time. I know I did two exposures of this. Um, one that was brighter than the other. This might be the darker of the two. Um, the moss was really, really, really green um, because uh, it had been raining just when I shot this. So yeah, it looks all right. Pretty good fall color on the tree there. But that one's that one's decent. This is my second exposure as I bump around my light table here. This is definitely the brighter of the two. I'd say this is the better of the two. I was uh, metering the, the detail in the, the trunks there. Let me see how we, what we did. Yeah, oh, there's enough detail there. Well, there's a little mid-ground sharpness in here, but you know, that's pretty decent. It's not like super compelling, but it's all right. This is a photo of uh, some leaves on the ground and uh, some grass. And um, this right here, that bright area, I know exactly what caused that. When I had the camera, it was facing basically straight down. Um, and I took the photo, put the dark side back in, and then I was actually rolling some video after I shot the photo. Uh, but I didn't realize that when I put the dark side in, it came to a complete stop. I thought it was in there all the way. Um, but actually, it hit it up against the little safety things. Um, so I took immediately another photo after that, once I realized that my dark slide was having some issues there. So this is the second photo I shot of that scene, and uh, that one turned out pretty good. I really like that. It has a very um, clean and fresh feel to it. Um, perfect exposure. Um, that's nice. I like that. I like that better than the oak tree shot so far. Here's my mossy rock. Ooh, I like that. By the way, this isn't my normal reaction. Normally when I look at my work, I'm like, oh, I hate it. I should really consider a different career. Um, this one turned out really nice as well. Um, I love texture. I love contrast. And in this case, the, um, the green moss had just a really nice look to it. And uh, I, I put the leaf there. I mean, uh, there are leaves on the ground nearby, but um, I like that. It has a really clean, fresh, it doesn't really look like design. It looks maybe more like Pacific Northwest. And uh, let me check for sharpness. Oh, it's tack sharp. This, this is a really fun one to look at. I mean, it looks, it looks like you're looking at reality. And I, I nailed the exposure there. I like that. Design kicked my ass, but I still found ways to to do some cool shots. It's also good. Um, I think this is darn near the same exposure. I shoot doubles a lot just because I want to make sure that um, if something happens that I'm going to be in, in pretty good shape. But, um, but I like that. I mean, this is, this is one of the reasons why Velvia is awesome because it's not over the top as far as color for a shot like this. It's very accurate. Um... That's cool. I can see that being a portfolio shot. 
this is a tree I found back in the Narrows. And I thought it was interesting because there's a lot of really green moss back in there. I guess you're seeing a pattern of moss here. Um, but this tree had some very, um, it's kind of uh, in between color. Um, it was green, but also yellow. And there had this nice kind of backlighting to it. And in this case, I thought it was kind of neat because the greens kind of match there versus yellows kind of contrast from the kind of purpley sandstone. Um, this was shot at the normal lens. And uh, looks like we're good for sharpness. This is one I, I set up really fast. I mean, I, I shot this photo within about 10, 15 minutes of seeing it. Has a nice look to the light right here. I like that. I'm also pretty cool with this shot. Um, another thing too you'll notice is that, I mean, I had really no compositional flexibility here because there's stuff immediately to the right, to the left, <laughs> and to the right, the bottom and the top. So, I mean, I, I framed it exactly the way I did because that's the only way to frame it, but it's also nice because you get these lines that kind of lead in and they all lead you back towards a tree, even the little path that goes up there. Um, exposure is basically perfect. Um, good detail in the trunk there. Just enough detail in the dark area there. Um, I like that one as well. That's cool. This isn't the normal reaction. I uh, almost troubled by the fact that I'm liking some of these photos. So this is one that was kind of a um, uh, slightly experimental. Um, when I shot this. Uh, I was just looking for something, anything to shoot in the Narrows, um, looking to be inspired. And um, I was filming some video, and this scene actually looked kind of cool in video. So I, I shot a, a still of it on the 8x10. It's okay. Um, I don't think it has the sort of lasting appeal as some of the other photos I've already gone through. Um, but the good news is that my exposure is spot on. I only shot one exposure of this. I didn't want to use more than one shoot of film. It's okay. Um, probably not than anything I'm gonna frame, but um, you know, it's all right. Whoa, <clears throat> got a problem here. This is why it's important to shoot doubles. Um, this was the lighter exposure of the two, and here I had some film shift happen, and. Um, Whenever I shoot a horizontal, I have to make sure I tap the film holder because what can happen is the film can drop during a longer exposure. And this was a minute and 10 seconds and the film dropped in it. So I had tapped the exposure when I shot the other photo, but when I shot this one, I failed to tap the exposure. I had film shift. Um, really glad I shot two photos and that the first one actually had a very ideal exposure. Um, because that is a piece of crap. Last photo. It's interesting. Um, this is the last photo I actually shot on the trip, so it's kind of interesting to have it in this order. Uh, this is the cottonwood that had fallen, and uh, trees in the midground, trees in the background, everything's past prime, but I thought it was interesting to have all the, um, the colors, the blues, and the kind of the warm tone hitting the trees there. And as far as sharpness, you know, actually appears to be pretty tech sharp all the way through. Um, this is one of the photos where I've been talking a lot about lately about um, maybe not shooting things that are perfectly ideal, but rather shooting things that tell a story. And to me, at least, this photo told a really big story about how, you know, one tree dies and it gives its nutrients back to the soil. Um, I don't know. I mean, this is one I'll probably have to sit on for a while. I kind of like it. I like it's a different, um, different sort of look for me. And the other thing too is this is the day when my my leg was killing me. Uh, I'd already come down with a cold, which I still have, as you can tell. Um, I'm literally two feet away from the trail on this photo, and I'm uh, probably about a minute's walk from a bus stop. So, bus stops back up over there. This is a big bend. Um, I think I'm kind of digging it. You know, not everything has to be like these crazy colors and stuff. Um, Overall, I think I'm pretty happy with my work this year. Um, kind of goes to the story that, you know, you, you got to be a little more creative sometimes if you kind of get um, the things don't work out according to what you had in mind. 
And a place like Zion is outstanding and an incredibly beautiful place. And the first few photos I showed you guys, the ones with the, the leaf and the moss and then the leaves on the ground, that sort of stuff maybe wouldn't have been possible if I had been there when the fall color was when it normally was. But it gave some really great opportunities. The fact that the moss just turned out so green was great because of the rain. But, um, you know, in past years, I wouldn't have been excited about that because it means I wouldn't be able to go in the Narrows. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with what I see. And uh, now you guys have already seen the video journals. But, you know, when I'm recording this, they don't exist yet. So now I got to go back make those video journals, tell a story of the trip. Now that I know the ending, you guys know the ending. So I guess, I guess uh, I'll see you on the next trip or I don't know, something like that. Yeah, I got I to gotta drink of water here. My throat's killing me. But thanks for watching. <laughs>